Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this one we are going to be talking about what Assassin's Creed needs to do to improve. So what Ubisoft can do to improve Assassin's Creed for the next game. So to start off with I want to say that I don't hate the franchise and I actually quite enjoy it but we need to, the, the improvements need to happen. So here's hoping that they do. So to start off with we need to have horse riding back bring back the bloody horse riding i want to run around on my mary that's what i call my horse in assassin's Creed 3 and i want to kill people i want I, I want my horse i want my horse and if it's in egypt give me a camel I, that, that'll be a nice compromise give me a camel the taller than horses now but really just give me a horse damn it you soft give us horses back we want our horses Another thing I've noticed, especially in recent games, is that the parkour, as it's got more fluent, it's also got more clunky in places. So, as you try to like climb a building, you accidentally climb too far and you start jumping around all over the place. In Unity, you could just circle around the window for five minutes before actually going through it properly. And I found that to be really irritating. So, that's another thing I'd like to change. I'd like to, I'd like to be able to seamlessly parkour and not have to worry about clunkiness. And... As far as story goes, we need to go back to a story about character development. So we need something like Ezio, how we had like a trilogy based around the character. So of course, apparently they're doing this according to rumors, but they need to do this because if we have character development through get more than one game, we'll actually develop like a like for that character. So if we have that, we might actually get a character that we like, maybe more than Ezio without that, but we could get a character we like almost as much as Ezio without the nostalgia so of course we could get a character that could be better than Ezio I don't know I mean the world is I don't, I don't I don't expect it but the world is always changing so anything can change at any point that's that 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 could be one thing that changes though I really doubt it now for a setting they definitely need to go to an interesting medieval setting so stop with all this like new recent stuff and go to a setting like the rumored Egypt that's going around right now so they need to go back to those kinds of settings because those kind of settings are more interesting than modern settings because modern settings are quite mundane to be honest because you feel as if you could exist in that world and there'd be little difference to your life although there would be but you feel as if it's too close to the modern day and you want to go back to a setting before the 18th century preferably so like back to before Ezio or around Ezio's time or even further back and apparently with ancient Egypt which means we're going further back than Altair so I don't know everything's open now and also, Ubisoft can make a better meal out of something where history isn't as well recorded, such as ancient Egypt, so they could sort of mess with a bit of lore there, they can introduce some interesting stuff, some stuff, some historical stuff that no one's going to question because no one actually knows for sure, and that, that, that'll reflect on the company quite well as they're sort of speculating things, and who knows, that stuff could have happened, you know? Whereas Connor and American Revolution, for example, no, we definitely know that Connor didn't exist because, you know, the American Revolution would be over pretty quickly if he did. One thing that I would have mentioned, had it not already been confirmed, is the end of the yearly cycle. That needed to go, and I'm glad that it did. But now that that's gone, there's no point talking about it, except the fact that that means that we could see less glitches in the next Assassin's Creed game. So recent Assassin's Creed games especially have seen a, re a really massive increase in glitches so unity being an example that game was horrendously glitched and i would never play a game that glitched if i knew it was that glitched so hopefully this means that we'll get a game in 2017 hopefully assassin's creed empire is not as glitchy as previous assassin's creed games and we could actually get a nice interesting game with as m the minimal glitches possible of course some glitches mean it's it, no game's ever going to be perfect for glitches but you know, it'll, it'll be really, really, really good for Ubisoft to take the time that they have to make sure that the glitches are solved and there aren't as many glitches. So hopefully that's why they're taking off the extra year. Along with this next point, which is that due to time constraints with Assassin's Creed Syndicate, they ended up cutting the modern day from the game completely, which was almost completely anyway which was a really bad move. They should have delayed the game to put in the modern day. They shouldn't have just, you know, sacked it there. So hopefully with this extra year that they've got on their hands now to make Assassin's Creed Emperor or whatever, Empire or whatever they're actually making, that then they should actually focus on the modern day a little bit more. Give us some modern day elements that we want and something really interesting because I would really love to see 
a new modern day protagonist and a new like interesting modern day stuff some new modern day characters and the return of old modern day characters in an interesting setting and we actually get to interact with those characters and maybe even play missions with those characters helping us out and all that i'll be really really awesome so i suppose that you know yeah that that'll be cool there's one other thing that i'd like to mention which is more of a personal preference now, I liked the games with the double hidden blades, to be honest, though that was more Ezio's signature weapon to start off with, then it became the hidden gun, but the double hidden blades were really, really good to use, they really felt quite efficient, you felt quite, well, I don't know, it just felt better to have two hidden blades than one, two is always better than one, I guess, unless we're talking about massive buses, because nobody can drive two buses at once, but I'd like to see the double hidden blade brought back, like double hidden blade hidden blade combat we need that we need hidden blade combat back because hidden blade combat was the stuff especially in the older games like in assassin's creed 1 the hidden blade combat made you feel like such a badass you looked unarmed and then he killed everyone so yeah of course there are other things that i didn't cover in this video but there is so much that assassin's creed can do to improve um but i've covered the main points thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed be sure to go ahead, like, subscribe, share, comment, help us hit 3,000 subscribers by hitting that subscribe button if you are new. And I will see you all in the next one with another video at some point soon. So yeah, so